Hello my peepers. Welcome to a new episode of what's new in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. So for today's paw gust, we are going to color in a very nice coloring book volume one house mouse designs by Ellen Jarecki. So I have decided to do the first page says chillin Amanda mud pie and muzzy and it tells on the front here each of the mouse characters and the colors that they are so I don't know if we can do exactly that because today I am coloring with my Bayland Lux pencils and there's not a lot of colors and the col there's no name on the pencil and no numbers so uh, let's go with the greens first cuz that always seems to go over best so we'll do the leaves so I have a light green So how is everybody today? We got storms this morning again. And I cleaned this morning. I vacuumed, cleaned the bathroom. I finished Two whips. <coughs> Shut up. I still need to get them up on Facebook. I haven't gotten pictures on Facebook yet of the finishes. And what else did I do? I was on the phone with Frishan. She's helping me get a hold of publishers so I can get books to review. And I do get the ebooks from Nat Galley. And I've been signed up with Edelweiss for a couple years, but. I could never get a book from them, but I got three today. One comes out next month, and other two don't come out until next year, but I will get them read anyways. So I started one of them. I'm not really caring for it. I'm reading a book by Sophie Hannah and I am not liking it. She's got like three storylines and started in the first chapter and it's like, no, you've already lost me. It's boring. The one character in there is supposed to be a comedian who I don't find funny at all. So I think I'm going to have a hard time reviewing this book. I did finish the audio book I was listening to. So, and of course you will hear all about this stuff on going in with a medium color. You will hear all this on my live stream on Friday.
Last night I played Sims 4. Each day of the week I play a different challenge. So Tuesdays my challenge is I take a family that's already made in a town and I remake them. I go with the um, I go with the characteristics that was given to the sim but I might change their looks their house um, I might give them a little bit more money and new jobs that go along with their personality and or traits they call it traits so I go by their traits and their I don't what do you call it lifetime goal that's not what they call it, but anyways, that's what I do on Tuesday. So each Tuesday is a different um, household. So I forgot the males. It's a single guy. In Willow Creek and he's a collector I gave him a career as a scientist and I've been having him going around the neighborhood collecting digging rocks and finding treasure so it's been fun. Tonight is the single mother challenge. It's not a challenge. I didn't do the challenge that was put up. This was, I kind of incorporated it in my own challenge. So this one was a single mother challenge. I've been playing it for a couple months now. She's no longer single. She's met someone new. And I think when I play tonight, she will be having a baby with the new husband. So that is what is going on in my Sims world. I know some of you do play it. Some of you are like, who cares? <laughs> well, I do have some that watch this that do care, so... Yeah. So how are you all doing with your Pawgust pictures? I have finished two Pawgust pictures I've got another one started that I need to work on I'm going back in with the lightest color to blend that all in I'm going to sharpen it so yeah, we've had downpours this morning. My internet was out for a little bit.
I've been online ordering candles and melts because I love both. I love having stuff going in the house to make my house smell good. And I've ordered from Goose Creek candles before. I love their candles and their melts. They smell really good. And then I've been seeing a lot of these beautiful candles by um, Candle by Victoria. But I only ordered melts for now. They're cheaper and they're smaller. So this way, if I don't like the scent, I didn't spend a lot of money on a candle. Because I'm picky about my candles and my scents. So, usually if a company is new to me, I will order the melts. The wax melts, they go into little warmers, electric warmers. And then I remembered I had a container full of oils from the body shop or Bath and Body Works. I think the body shop. I have a whole bunch of oils with the oil burner so I've been using them too and then I ordered some melts again from Goose Creek Candle and then I wanted to try another candle company I've been seeing on Facebook called Bell's Beautiful Candles. So I bought four small jar candles from there because they were on sale and they were cheap. So I just got four small ones to start out with to see if I like them. And my sister, of course, is now selling Scentsy, so I will be getting stuff from her. I don't like a lot of floral scents. Okay, let's do these pinkish colors. So, is this a pinkish? I just like to have a lot of options, see what I really like. And I do like Yankee Candle. And I have a couple drawers full of votive candles. I don't burn them as much as I used to. But I've got to get those burnt used up yes I'm just babbling today <laughs> so the one picture I did finish today was um, the daydreams by Hannah Carlson that a bunch of us were doing in is a tribute to Katrine it was the frog with the mushrooms. I had done the mushrooms and that was it. So I got a hold of Sammy to see what colors she used on her flowers. And then I watched Frank Color and F. Francis and did the um, raindrop background so that is finished and I finished that page in nice little town four is that what it's called so that page is done and tomorrow I just want to color the elves in love and watch um, Belinda 
So, and tomorrow is cleaning the kitchen. Laundry is all done and put away. So, yep. I watched a video of Zoe. I watched May do her happy mail with her pan pastels. I watched two videos of Jessica. things done and Not much else going on here today. I'm going to have to go through my emails again. and There's a lot of videos I still have not watched. It says I have like 200 and some emails. And most of them are videos I haven't watched yet. And I know I'm not going to get to them. Sorry. It's a struggle, but... I am not letting it get me down like it did a couple months ago because I can only do so much. And with the storms we've had, I have not been able to watch live streams. So I missed another one of Kate today. I know I watched I watched Melissa's video from yesterday morning. So I do get to some videos, just not as many as I'd like. This is a bud from a flower that hasn't opened yet. This has some shading in it, so you kind of can just follow it. I have had a very needy cat today, which was Ruby. I have no idea why she has not left me alone today. And she's trying to curl up on my neck when I'm trying to read and she 
I had to put a blanket on me because she's always scratching me when she does that. And it's it slid a little bit and she plucked a thread on my shirt I was wearing and so that kind of plucked it along in the in the row of my shirts. She ruined the shirt. It's a good thing it's just one of my around the house shirts. It's not a good shirt. Like you need to stop doing that. Okay, and then I'm going in with the darker color. I wonder if it's going to rain again. I'm, it's 7.30, and it's like the sky is really funky out there. So I have a feeling it's going to rain again. So, yeah, I'll watch Belinda. I didn't watch the first two parts, and then tonight will be. I believe she's on tonight live streaming. So I'll catch it tomorrow. So they plan on coloring tomorrow. Oh, and I called in my prescription. I had three prescriptions to call in yesterday. So, I called them in. Because we now have health insurance again. And it's a newer one than what we had. It's a different one. We had MVP last time, which I really liked MVP. But now we have Blue Cross Blue Shield. And so Scott went to pick up my prescriptions and he came home and handed it to me and said, this is a better prescription plan. Because my one prescription used to be $30 and it was only $10. So I'm like, yay. And I had a three-month supply for my diabetes medicine but the insurance would not fill it for three months they would only do it for 30 days so I'm like I don't care we only did it for the three months so that I could have three months worth while we were out of insurance so my doctor set it up that way and I had just run out of it so That worked out perfectly. Yeah, it's gonna rain. <laughs> it's like really strange out there. 
wonder why all of a sudden we're just getting all these storms this week. We haven't seen anything all summer, and then this week we get hit. <sighs> so I'm just taking that lighter color and blending them all because it's not I'm not doing serious coloring in this this is it's one of those coloring books it's for fun you know shading's not going to be perfect and just using whatever I want in here although these seem to work really nice on this I believe this is create space paper and these pencils seem to be working pretty good in it Yeah, it's create space. But yeah, they're working nicely in here. So, if you are a pencil collector and you consider yourself a pencil hoe, please join the Facebook group that Sharon owns. It's called the Pencil Hoe Club. And every week we will be coloring with a different set of pencils. And this week are these Bayland Lux. And Sharon made me an admin so that I can Choose the pencil of the week and I made an album for you to put your pictures in and also a reminder that Nisi from Dollar Diva 99 Color World Coloring World is my co-host for Pawgust she is funny. She's been coloring. I forgot what she was coloring yesterday that I watched. So you need to watch Nisi. And I'm using medium pressure. It's just, I'm not doing anything fancy. No fancy in this book. I don't know what book we're working in next. Oh, probably, maybe Creative Cats by Creative Haven. I do have a um, buddy color in that, but it depends how much I get done on this today. So now that I have this new insurance and I see how much my prescriptions are cheaper, I need to make an, uh, call my uh, the place where I get the masks and that for my CPAP machine because I seriously need a new mask. It um, it's not as doesn't suction to my face as good as it used to. So I will have to call them.
and then sometime I need to call and make an appointment with my doctor because my last appointment I had to cancel because I didn't have insurance so I have to call him back I need to call the eye doctor and the dentist <laughs> reschedule all my appointments okay I see where there's part of a leaf here I will have to go back in with the greens I'm just doing two colors on this. I'm not doing. They're, they're so thin. Daenerys, stop cleaning. You're not that dirty. You make it too much noise. <laughs> And let's see, I've been watching General Hospital while I play Sims. And I think I have, I think I only have yesterday's and today's to watch. <laughs> These are cute mice. So Joan that won the Christmas book, I have not mailed it out yet because yesterday when I left the house, to run errands I forgot to bring it with me which but if I had brought it with me I still might not have mailed it because it was downpouring yesterday and then today it was raining and storming too What was I going to do? Oh yeah, fix that up there. Okay. I'm going to change this little bit.
So Jessica was talking on her channel about her color lawn she's doing in October. It's called Owltober because any of you that watch Jess will know that she loves her owls. So she was showing the coloring book a million owls. So I put that in my cart because I'm getting ready to order a million cats because that is a color lawn that John from the Bibliophile Colorist, I think he's doing that in October. So, I decided to order both of those. I didn't order them yet, they're still sitting in the cart. I will wait till probably this Friday. And then, not this, this Sunday I have one happy piece of Happy Mail. And then the following Sunday I will have two boxes to do live on a Sunday for Happy Mail. And I'm going to open the boxes on camera, on live. Just because I can. <laughs> okay, there's that. Now, um, going to do. Just doing this straight coloring. And I think this here there, there's that. Um Seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore. I 
still have not watched Dee Dee's video of all of her coloring books. <laughs> I didn't even see how long that video was. She was she did that live Monday. And I didn't get a chance to watch it, so There's the shells. Let's check the time. What is it? 41 minutes. I'm drinking my unsweetened iced tea. I have not had a chance to watch Anne from A Colorful Life. Okay, this is Amanda. Amanda is fawn colored. Okay, so that's like a, this color here. She's fawn colored. I'm just going in the direction of her fur. <laughs> She's fawn colored. And if you want to see a better picture, the back cover shows what they look like in the colors. So, yep, I can do that. So I'm very lightly doing that. Daenerys? Daenerys, out. I do have to look up their tails. Are their tails? Oh, their tails are a light color. I'm going to do her tail. And a little pink in her ears. Daenerys! Go! Go on! Get! And then I'll just go darker where the shadow is. <laughs> She's cute. Okay. And then this is Mud Pie. And Mud Pie says he has brown fur and a nick in his left ear, which you can see. His two favorite activities are eating and sleeping. <laughs> it's cute. So he has brown fur. So we will use a different color brown. I still am. I'll use this color here. It's a lighter color. <clears throat> and we'll take this brown and I 
just kind of go along with his hairline. <laughs> Here's mud pie. And we'll do the inside of the ear. That's cute. Now, oh, did I get this other hand? Okay. And then Muzzy. And for Muzzy it says, Muzzy is fuzzy and his fur is a bit long and mushroom gray in color. He is the most curious of the five house mouse mice. Okay, so he's a mushroom gray. So, I have grays and I'm not quite sure if they're a mushroomy color, but... We'll do really light on his skin here. And then we'll take this and just do his fur. He's cute too. He's cute too. Now we'll just add a little bit of that pink in his ear. And then his nose. And the noses. So all we have left is the sand. And I don't have many browns here. What do we have for time? 49 minutes. We, I don't know if we'll get to finish this on camera, but I'm not going to do a second part of this just because all that's left is the sand. So I grabbed, it looks like this color here. And I'm just going to go in circles. No Miss Pearl. Get off of my books. Get down. Get down. No. Okay. I'm just going in lightly. The sand color.
So I will show you what I am doing. Okay, so I have this brown down. We'll go to here. And then I'm going to take one that's a little shade darker. And then if you want to do a blue sky, you could use like pastels. I might use a pencil. I'll probably use a pencil. So then you can go in and do where some of the shading is. You can see where the shading is. Okay, so that's what the second color. Grab a third color. Third brown and go in, darken up some of that. waiting for the heavens to open and downpour. <laughs> I really am. It's just funky out there. That's what I'm going to be doing on the rest of the sand. As you can see where the shadowing is. What do you think? This is that second color. It's kind of blending it in. That's how I'm going to do the rest of the page. Like I said, I might go in and 
just use a blue pencil and just do the sky. Although it might be easier. I don't know. There's not a lot of sky there, so I'll probably use a pencil. But that's how I'm going to do the sand. And so that is it for today, my peepers. I will have a link down below for these pencils and for this coloring book. And I am an Amazon associate, which means that when you click on that link and you order, then I make a little bit of money off it. Not much. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's just like if you were ordering normally. So that is it for today. I am not sure... what I am coloring next. I might work on a buddy color. I have one started and another one to start, so I'll probably be doing that. That's it for today, my peepers. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye!